Fear not the thing you hear, and enjoy that which you see. Greetings to you, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls and people. I am the professor, Julia Sumner Miller by name, and we engage in heterogeneous things, enchanting abundant. Just a mess of stuff about which I have been thinking for 50 years. Consider the following. Have you not been by the sea or elsewhere and picked up a shell of a creature that once lived? Beautiful indeed, the geometry of it. Incredibly beautiful. That spiral with which, uh, in which this shell grows is, I think, either a Bernoulli spiral or an Archimedean, and I would have to look at it more circumspectly to decide. But you see, I connected the mathematics with a name, Bernoulli, Archimedes. But my principal errand here is as follows. If everything is quiet, so you think. Get that message, so you think. You put the shell to your ear, and you hear the sea. Mm, no, no, not necessarily that. But let me tell you something here and now. I put this to my ear, first hearing a compressor elsewhere in this castle, giving me compressed air soon to use. I put my ear so, and the resonance of this chamber to that frequency, that pitch, is beautiful and loud and clear. I don't know whether we can get it or not. So what is this going on? Answer. However quiet the environs, there are always some sounds of many frequencies and abundant. This chamber is resonant to a certain few, which is what you hear. As in an earlier program, I had two mounted tuning forks, each resonant to the frequency of the other. Wonderful, wonderful. Here is a shell of other geometry. Now I look at this and I've decided that uh, rho equals e to the a theta is the geometry of that spiral. Now somebody says, Professor, how do you know that? Because I have been friendly with Archimedes and with Bernoulli. Next inquiry. A tin can with a hole in it. This is a virtual demonstration. Remember what we mean by virtual. We will just play with it in an imaginary way. Here is a tin can with an open spout and a tiny hole in the bottom. Let's get a good picture of that hole. Right there. Hole. So here is the picture of the can. Whoop. The can with a hole, teeny weensy hole. Now what am I going to do? Raise some terrible questions. And that's all I've been doing for 50 years is raising questions, not being able to answer more than half of them. Let me fill this can with water. Well, you say, Professor, you put water in this can, it's gonna come out that hole. Why, of course. So I put my finger over that hole, there's my finger, and I fill it with water. Well, I guess it starts from the bottom. It gets filled up. Now, if I take my finger away, the water's going to come out. But I'm going to put a stopper in there, and then I can take my finger away, and the water does not come out. If I take my uh, the stopper out, the water comes out, and of course, its path is a parabola, as any projectile would be. Question. Stopper in, no water comes out. Stopper out water comes out. How tall a can could I do this with? How tall? I'll tell you, because I have, although a wounded heart, a charitable mind in matters intellectual. 34 feet, give or take. And I trust you connect this with certain things we did regarding the atmosphere. The atmosphere. And so, as I wish to say, I'll be here waiting for you in this chamber. Thank you for listening.